Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am very excited to share with you my first video on my channel as well as my entry to this year's NYX Face Awards. My look was inspired by the geode rocks and how they give the illusion that they are just an ordinary rock, but when they are cracked open you see their beautiful center lined with crystals. I'm warning you guys now, I am not used to having to record myself talk, so bear with me here and I promise I will work on it and get some better recording equipment. So let's get into the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. To start this makeup look, I'm applying foundation to my face and my neck. The foundation I'm using works best and lasts longer when it's applied with your hands. I buff the foundation in with a beauty blender to make sure everything's blended into my skin, also because I like the finish of the beauty blender. Now I'm going to apply some concealer. I'm applying it the same way I did with my foundation, using my hands first and then going in with a beauty blender. I have just found that this works better with the concealer that I am using. Now I'm going to go in with a contour stick and apply this on my cheekbones, above my temples, around my nose, under my lip and under my chin. This is going to give more structure to my face and then I'm going to go in with my trusty beauty blender and blend everything out. Using a translucent setting powder, I'm going to set my face. I'm only applying it in select areas because it's going to sit on my skin for about 5 minutes and it can tend to lighten any areas. So I'm going to place this where any cream bronzer has gone past where I want it to as well as this is also going to help prevent creasing under my eyes. After about 5 minutes, I brush it off just with a powdered brush. Now I'm going to take a bronzing powder. I'm only going to use sweeping motions because I find that this will help prevent patches in my complexion. Taking a gold highlighter, I'm going to apply it on the top of my cheekbones, on my brow bone, my cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, and also my collarbones. This is going to accentuate the high points of your face. Now I am taking an eyebrow pencil and I'm just tracing the outline of where I want the cracks and the crystals to break through my skin. I put one around my eye, one on the other side of my cheek, and a couple on my chest. Then I am creating the cracks that connect to where the crystal is going to be breaking through from our skin. Starting from my face towards my neck and going down my chest. I'm just using a water activated body paint to fill in those open cracks in our skin. I mixed a magenta shade as well as a deep blue shade to get the desired purple that I wanted for this makeup look. You don't have to worry about making the body paint opaque because we will be going over with eyeshadows afterwards. Oh, 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 oh,
Now we're gonna take a deep plum eyeshadow and we're going to line that against the outer edges of the opening in our skin and that's gonna give more dimension and shadow to make it appear as if the crystal is coming from underneath our skin. Now I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm going to define and deepen the cracks that we've already traced out with the eyebrow pencil. The one that I used I didn't realize had some sparkle in it and that is going to do the opposite of what I want. I want to deepen those outer edges so it looks like it's underneath our skin. Whereas the shimmer when it hits the light is going to highlight those darkened areas and we don't want that. We want to have it deep and sort of cavern like. Now I'm going in with a purple eyeshadow and that is just going to make the body painting that we've already placed more opaque if it is a little bit patchy. Using a white eyeliner pencil, I'm going to highlight wherever we have put a shadow. So where those open cracks in our skin are, we are going to want to highlight around that. So that's why I'm placing the white eyeliner pencil. It is just going to give more dimension and make it appear as if the skin is on top of the, um, the underneath layer. If you just follow the golden rule where any shadow you put a highlight, you can't go wrong. Now I'm just going to fill in my brows. You can use anything that you want. You can use a powder, a pencil, a pomade. I use a pomade just because I like that I can work with it a little bit more and if I need to change my brow shape, I can easily do that. Or if I have any patchiness or I'm missing brow hairs in certain areas, I can easily fill it in and make my brows still look pretty natural. Even though for this look, I am going for a more filled in brow. Moving on to my eyes, I'm applying a purple eyeshadow in my crease. It's lighter than the purple we have used for those deep cracks. And I'm going to be winging out the purple a little bit because we are going to be creating a cut crease. Now going in with a gold liquid liner, I am creating a cut crease and I'm going to be filling it all in while leaving the purple shadow on top. Now I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and I'm going to go in with kind of this dark purple with a mixture of brown to deepen that crease color right up against the gold. So I applied a very thin line of eyeliner up against my lashes and then I did coat my lashes with mascara. I did not film this because I cannot film this on video. I don't even know how I filmed putting on my lashes, but here is me putting on some lashes. And now for the fun part, I am just taking some eyelash glue and I am going to be brushing that on the skin. I'm mainly applying it where we have that lighter purple and not the shading. And then I'm sticking this cellophane paper onto my skin um, and just kind of applying that all throughout the center of our cracks. And this is going to give that crystal appearance. 
Now, I really liked the contrast between the green and the purple, as well as adding the gold eye in there. I think the colors really complemented each other. So you're just gonna repeat that. You're gonna apply lash glue, you're gonna stick the cellophane paper on, and then you're gonna repeat and repeat and repeat until it's all filled in. So you're just gonna quickly watch me do that. I also wanted to apply the cellophane paper on the outer corner of my eye and I kind of spread it out into my hairline. I also applied the cutest little Swarovski crystals around my eye with just some lash glue and it was really easy to do. It's Again, it's just the process. It's going over and repeating until you are happy with the look that you have. Taking a lip liner that is really similar to my lip color, I'm just going to outline my lips. You can overdraw your lips, you can do whatever you want with your lips. I'm just going to be outlining my regular lips. Now I am taking a dark plum liquid lipstick and I'm just going to go over the lip liner and over my lips. And I didn't video it, but I did add some of that cellophane paper onto my lip to create this kind of lip art look, which I really, really enjoyed. And that is the finished look for my Fractured Illusion entry for the NYX Face Awards. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.